Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm at Barnsbridge Station today. This is Barnsbridge in London. That way he's looking towards Hounslow, and that way he's looking towards firstly Barnes, where there's a junction and the line into Waterloo. Just up here is Barnsbridge, and beyond Barnsbridge is a brand new bridge called the Duke's Meadow Footbridge. And it's very unusual because it goes over the River Thames, but it doesn't cross the River Thames, as in it doesn't take you from the North or the South Bank to the other. It goes from the North Bank to the North Bank. I'll explain the reason, or we'll go and see the reason, why we need a bridge that does that. But I thought we'd start here at Barnsbridge Station, because I've just come here on the train. We'll have a look at the Barnes Railway Bridge, and then, well, we're actually going to cross the Barnes Railway Bridge on foot, because there is a footpath which takes you beside the railway line on the other side. Beside, it runs beside the up line. So I'm currently on the, the down platform and we'll see Barnes Bridge in a moment. Now this isn't the original Barnes Bridge. Well the original Barnes Bridge is still there. If the first river crossing for the railway opened here in August 1849. But it's um, cast iron. So we'll see that but more obvious in front of us are the spans of the newer bridge. That opened in 1895. This doesn't look like much, but I think this was the original entrance to the station. Because if you look here, you can see it slopes down there, as if there'd be steps down there and out. Now I reckon there was track here, possibly. I'm trying to work out, because what they did was when they built the new bridge, they slewered the track this way. So you can see by looking down the platform, you can see the kink. This would have originally been straight. It was because what they did to keep the line open, they built the new bridge right next to the old. So I'm wondering if the original platform was possibly here. I'm not too sure. If you know, do comment and tell me. We're going to make our way out the station. I'll go past the original entrance to the station. So it's not really supposed to be a disused railway video, but we seem to be finding a disused station entrance and a disused railway bridge. To get to the station on both sides, there is a lot of steps. There is no lift, so just take note if you do require step-free access. I suspect there will be one day, but there isn't at the moment. Come all the way down all those steps, and then you go down this alleyway and in fact when you exit the station on this side you are on an alleyway which if you were to go down there you'd eventually end up in Barnes if you go down there. Now this I think is the original entrance to the station. Seems to be now just a bin store and then up there where it's bricked off and there's a door. Well what's behind that door? A ticket machine there. So that's one entrance to the station. It's an unstaffed station so no ticket office, um, no ticket barriers. There is obviously a ticket machine as we saw. This alleyway is known as the Long Walk. Ah, oh, now, we get to here. Here's the bridge. Let's cross the road because I can see what we've come to see, this new bridge. Well, we've got effectively free, free bridges, not free bridges in Sussex. Well, that there, that is the new bridge, the Duke's Meadow footbridge. This here, that's the original railway bridge, which is no longer used, and then right next to it, we'll get a better look when we go over there, is the newer bridge of the railway bridge, the 1895 bridge. I'm wondering how, I'll see if I wonder how far we are. Look, we're seven miles and 59 change from London. We're in zone three. I always find though, Barnes and Chiswick, they feel so rural. I'll look at this, just in case you're not sure where you are. I remember there were some similar murals on the Chessington branch. If you want to see that video, have a look at the link on screen now, Branch Line Britain, Chessington branch. There are more murals like that. That's the old ticket office. We're going up those steps in a minute, because that's where you access the London platform and the, the footbridge. So you obviously did once buy tickets here. We just go up here, and here we get our first really nice view of the River Thames. The tide is out, so that's looking downstream towards London, although central London is kind of that way, but it does a big meander up via Hammersmith. So Hammersmith is about two or three miles downstream that way. Standing here though, in fact, let's we can do what we're going to do on the other side. Let's go under the bridge. We can see everything I want to explain about the old and the old, the old bridge and the new bridge. So we're under the newer of the bridges. And you can quite clearly see the older bridge. Get a nice view of it there. So it was a cast iron bridge. There was a bit of a worry about running trains over them because there was a cast iron bridge which collapsed. The cast iron, if you were to drop a piece of it, it does smash or shatter. It's, it's not always the most durable of materials. So. This bridge, which I must have been over before, but not taking too much notice, is a smaller version of that bridge on the other side. So I've got to go back and over. There is also talk of putting on this side 
making this one into a footbridge, the original railway bridge. At the moment, nothing seems to have come of that, but it's been mooted, which would be quite a good idea. So it would mean you'd be able to cross the river on both sides. So let's go back down, cross the road, up those steps, over the bridge, and then let's go and find the new bridge. Which, like I say, is funny because it crosses the river, takes you over the river, but doesn't cross the river. I have to go back under here to get to the uh, crossing, which will give us a chance from the other side of the road to look at this mural. So I don't mind having to go back on myself. And we're just going to wait now to cross the road. Red, right. So we're crossing the road now, back under the river, under the railway rather. I'm going to go over it. They are barns. That way it says White Hart Lane. That way it says Barnes Village. There's a really nice walk you can do. Barnes Village is worth going to see. It's very pleasant. It's not far from London. You can do a walk where you follow the, the Thames path and you can go right over to Hammersmith Bridge. In the end you end up continuing along. You can come back past the London Wetland Centre, which I've heard is very good, but I've not actually been to. So I've got these steps here. This is basically a public footpath. That's where we're going. And that's the down platform for London. So there's um, no step free access on this side. I expect there will be one day. Although quite where they put it, I'm not too sure. That building down there is the roof of the old city office. And as we come up here, here we are. We're now on the bridge. So that is the bridge. That's the station. That's where we were a moment ago. So we're gonna walk over the bridge now and we're going to have a look when we get to the other side at the new bridge, but we'll be able to look down on the new bridge. And also, we get some really nice views over the Thames, looking towards central London and northwest London. I can just see, I don't know if the camera's picking it out, but I can just see Trellick Tower over there, which is by the Great Western Main Line. So that's to give you an idea. That's where we're looking. So effectively, we are, we're actually looking north. So, as I said, that's northwest London. And then down here, you get quite a good view through the spans, through the, the girders, looking that way. And there's also a couple of good pubs. Sometimes I've been chasing steam trains around this area, and I remember there's a couple of pubs down there, sitting in them on a dark night. It was in the winter. You know, it's crossing, you can see the trains crossing the bridge. And now I came back over to the station probably to see a steam train. There was another time because it was 2021, I chased most of the Windsor trains, the steam train to Windsor, Mayflower was hauling them, and I managed to catch Mayflower at three different bridges over the River Thames. This was one of them. If you'd like to see that video, then do have a look at the link on screen now. We're now just coming up to the north bank. We get a good view from above, well, a bit of a good view off the bridge. We'll see it much better in a moment. So that's the new, the brand new bridge over the Thames, which doesn't cross the Thames, which we've come to see just down there. So we're going to go down the steps and then we're going to have a look at the new bridge. So when we get to here, we're now on the North Bank. Now the reason for this bridge is basically you've got the path along the Thames. Now when they got to here, there was a quarter of a mile detour that they've got here. I can explain it better from this viewpoint. So if you're walking along the Thames, you get to here, you could go over the Thames where we've just been but you couldn't easily continue that way. You had to walk a quarter of a mile or so that way to an arch under the railway and come back. So there was the idea that to shorten it, make it easy, it's also quite dark at night, why not build this new bridge? So, and that's what they've done. And I've been watching it, as I say, I've traveled over this bridge quite a few times last year and I've been watching it take shape. And I kept thinking as soon as that bridge opens, I was gonna come and see it. But first, let's just watch this train go past. There goes the train heading towards London, going over the bridge. Passengers will get a nice view of what we've just seen. We're going down here now. So it seems 
So continue along there, that section is currently closed, although I've just seen some people just walk along it because um, the gate isn't exactly acting as much of a blockage. We come to, we get to down here and, uh, well firstly, that, that's the new bridge, quite impressive. I say, stretches out over the Thames, doesn't cross the Thames, and then that takes you down to the existing footpath. So I suppose you will be able to go down there eventually, as they pretty much can now. I think they're going to landscape it all and it should all look quite good. Here we are, we're on this new bridge. And it not only goes over the Thames and doesn't cross the Thames, it goes under two railways, a disused railway bridge and a current railway bridge, and a footbridge. So it's, yeah, quite quite interesting, quite exciting. The reason they've had to build it like this, as we can see here, comes out this far, is because the bridge is a listed building, so they weren't allowed to alter it, so they couldn't kind of build a lean-to on the bricks. It had to be completely independent, so it sort of had to live with the bridge, but not actually touch the bridge. So, yeah, that's why it's like this. You can get another view, you can again see the differences between the old and the new bridge. We're gonna go under them now. It's funny actually because when you get so that's the, the footpath we've just walked on if we were here the train came over now you'd look up and you'll see directly under the train so that's quite unusual and then there's the original railway bridge it'd be really nice if they could make that into a footbridge i'd um well i know what i'd do i'd come back and make another video on that one if they do but we'll have to wait and see i don't know if that if there's any chance of that happening now i just know it is something that's been talked about so here we are we've now passed under the bridge it's taken a lot less time and then the bridge continues for a bit of a distance to get us back up onto onto north bank now things have changed here because when i mentioned that video where i said i chased mayflower at three different locations i stood just on that bit of bank there and there was a sailing club building i think it was a sailing club or a rowing club that building's gone they've demolished that building there's literally nothing there so i wonder what the plan is for that bit of land if they're going to redevelop it i expect they're going to redevelop it in some ways there's a lot of sports fields all the way out there i believe there was even well i know there was a miniature railway which ran beside the line i never went on it, it closed years ago but i did once somebody told me and showed me a video of it so it's a very sporty area and then up there's chiswick station another station i do really quite like as i say it feels it doesn't have quite the same hustle and bustle of other parts of zone three it just feels well pretty much rural you can see all where we've been, we've started over there, been over the bridge, we've gone to over here. And now we're effectively not on the bridge, we're just on a walkway with a vent each side. And really after here, I don't have a lot of anything interesting to show you, other than I'll point out where the original path went, where well, it still does, you can still go the original way. Here yeah, it says Duke's Meadow Footbridge Eastern Landing. So that's quite interesting. So when we get to here, it looks like it's all being redeveloped. So there's lots of sports areas. There really isn't a lot here at all. But you'd continue down there to cross the railway. And then the Thames path goes that way. As soon as there isn't really much to do with finishing a video, I think what we'll do, we'll go back to the new bridge and I'll finish the video there. I think I feel like I've got a nice uh, backdrop there to finish this video so, this so i hope you enjoyed this video thank you very much for watching if you'd like to come and visit it it's very easy to get to you just get catch a train from london waterloo and come and visit this bridge it's a really i think that's a really nice view so hope you enjoyed this video thank you very much for watching please do feel free to like subscribe and comment and from the new bridge which which goes over the thames but doesn't cross it thank you very much for watching goodbye